Eccola là. Sì, l'ho visto là. Dov'è che è? E buongiorno. Good morning and welcome to the audience in this room and welcome to all those who are following us uh, live uh, on uh, our website for this last day of the 52nd International Theatre Festival of La Biennale di Venezia that will end with the awarding of the Golden Lion for a Lifetime Achievement to the uh, Australian company Back to Back Theatre for the first time in Italy with their show. I would like to remember to all our uh, spectators that the ceremony will be followed by a conversation with the artists of Back to Back Theatre, moderated by Andrea Porcheddu, a theatre critic and uh, say writer. He has also guided a laboratory uh, for uh, theatrical criti critics together with Roberta Ferraresi. We start the awarding ceremony with the reading of the motivation of the Golden Lion, uh, read by the artistic directors for theater, Gianni Forte and Stefano Ricci. The Golden Lion for Lifetime Achievement at the 52nd International Theatre Festival of La Biennale di Venezia goes to back-to-back -back theatre. In an era at once fragile and violent, which stigmatizes the horrors of miseducation and toxic individualism, while appearing immune to their destruction, an era when any form of governance seeks to delegitimize difference, theater in its highest form can maintain an open-minded course towards community, offering a possible encounter with the local. Art becomes a bridge between oneself and the world. And this is especially true when disability is transformed into a tool for exploration. And yet, although the time when it was labeled dysfunctional and made the subject of spectacle ended more than a century ago, our society still appears far from able to recognize it. Can we be certain that the only disability around is the one we are witnessing on stage? Theater that act actively engages with social issues strives to eliminate discrimination based on disability. It advocates for the right to, equal to equality and uh, diversity by going beyond the mere use of politically correct language. Under Bruce Gladwin's stewardship, back-to-back -back theater have put the vulnerability of living bodies on show to amplify the significance of messages that limit, that stand in the way, that remove the unassimilated by relegating them to a dark corner, thereby sanctioning the death of an inclusion. The differently able bodies back-to-back -back brings to the stage are truly present beyond the trappings of artistic representation in the dystopian landscapes of roaring reality, and they acquire another meaning. The work is a visionary parable of communication that breaks down every prejudice, every stigma of compassion with poetic ferocity. If the body has expressive limitations in terms dictated by ableist society, on stage these distinctions become a different grammar in and of themselves. Our fears, our puritanical tolerance, our moral blindness, all of these are blown away by back-to-back theaters, cruel tales of perilous worlds in which diversity carries with in the amplification of knowledge, of inclusion, in order to heal the deformities of our awareness as apparently able-bodied people. A reservoir of meaning emerges, a restless dramaturgy in which the narrative doesn't unfold in a linear fashion, yet the impaired body articulates another representative value, one embodied in the sensorial universe of all those who witness it. In the disabled performer, 
This leads to unpredictable layers of expressive resonance. Back-to-back -back theater's work, therefore, becomes, in addition to its intrinsic artistic value, the driver of an identity that pays close attention to what stands out from the crowd, the un that understands and respects something that differs from our templates of social representation. It reveals the possibility of building the foundation of a renewed relationship and then handing us, we were so unable the key to understanding how limited our capacity for collective interaction truly is. Because whatever limitation a person may experience, it is up to us as human consortium to remove them. That is what culture does. That is the kind of theater we must earn. And that is what back-to-back -back theater is, among many other things. We invite here on stage Pietrangelo Buttafuoco, who is the president of La Biennale di Venezia, who will award the Golden Lion. And we also invite on stage the company, Back to Back Theatre. Their names, Bruce Gladwin, Simon Larty, Sarah Mainwaring, Scott Price, Sarah Goneman, Tamika Simpson, please uh, join us on stage.
Yeah, thanks, guys. I think, yeah, we, um, so may maybe, um, yeah, maybe we should, yeah. Where's the president? No? Oh, they, yeah, no, hang, no, hang on. Um, no, that's okay, sing a hand on it. So I did, um, so I did, um, did so, someone call out my name, because I heard someone call out my name. Yeah, there you go, thank you. A few people there, out of the back. Um, uh, boys, you should do your speech. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Hello. Challenge the representatives of the Australian government who have travelled here from the consulate in Rome. Thank you so much. Scusate, non parlo. Sorry, I do not speak Italian, but I'll do my best. On ensemble, on behalf of the ensemble collaborating artists, staff, and board members, both past and present, we would like to thank the artistic directors Stefano Ricci and Gianni Forte, the president of La Biennale di Venezia, Pietrangelo Buttafuoco, and the entire board of La Biennale di Venezia for bestowing this tribute upon the walk of back-to-back -back theater. We are very happy to perform food court with our friends, the next, at La Biennale di Venezia, such an incredible cultural institution. It is with great honor and joy that we receive this award. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing else to say. Thank you. We hop off now? Yeah, we go. Okay.